Now we move upward. So we were talking about yes, vertebro basilar system. Let me make here again. Yes, please tell me what is it? Midbrain. And here is your friend. What is it? Pons. And here is medulla and yes, cerebellum and undersurface. Right? Now you will tell me rapidly what is this artery going up? Vertebral. And what is still going up? Still vertebral, right? So these are vertebral arteries, and after the union, they move upward as yes, basilar, and eventually they divide into terminal branches as yes, posterior, cerebral or cerebral, cerebral, not cerebral, cerebral, posterior, cerebral. Am I clear? Important branches. Now you will tell me, not me. Yes, contributory branches to anterior spinal. Then a very important branch. What is it? Posterior inferior cerebral artery. The most important point you have to remember that they especially supply the lateral part of medulla. Right? Which students forget. I don't know why. They only remember the cerebellum. Posterior and inferior are part of cerebellum. And what is this artery going down? Yeah. Posterior spinal arteries may be originating from vertebral system or may be coming in directly from posterior and inferior cerebral artery. Is that right? And of course, this artery may give a little branches here. These are medullary, medullary arteries. These are very small branches. Now, as it is going upward, right, it gives another set of arteries. Now, this artery may originate from vertebral or may originate from basilar. It depends person to person. I put a question mark. Next artery, which I am telling, and some people it take origin from the beginning of basilar, and in some other people, the same artery takes origin from the vertebral, right? And this artery, right. This artery is supplying, yes. This is going again to cerebellum inferior surface, but more interiorly. Look, this was also supplying the inferior surface, under surface of cerebellum. This is also supplying the under surface of cerebellum. But this is going posteriorly and this is supplying anteriorly. Is that right? So, this if posteriorly was posterior inferior cerebral artery, then anterior should be called anterior, anterior inferior cerebral artery. artery. So this is pica and that is ica. I think they are like sisters, pica and ica. Right? So both are supplying the under surface of cerebellum. Is that right? So you can say that from the vertebral basilar system, first there are two small arteries, arterial system, anterior spinal artery and posterior spinal artery system. Then two sisterly branches come out which are pica and ica. Any question up to this? Now, an important point which you have to remember about ica is that it supplies yeah, lateral part of pons also. Not only it supplies under the cerebellum, but also supplies the pons also. Why, why I am stressing is, listen, everyone by, due to the name of the arteries remember that pica and ica supply under surface of cerebellum. But a special point is, pica is also supplying the lateral area of medulla. And ica is supplying specially lateral area of pons. Right? That is specially supplying the lateral area of the pons. Am I clear up to this? After that, we move upward. Uh, artery start, which is a very, very long travel. And again, this artery which is going for very long distance artery, right? This long distance surface may be originating from basilar or in some people it is originating from ICA. 
right? This artery is going forward laterally and then it moves with the seventh nerve and eighth cranial nerve, facial nerve and vestibulo cochlear nerve. And this artery goes along with the facial nerve and vestibulo cochlear nerve into internally caused inner ear. Inner ear has a blood flow, you know, inner ear, cochlea and vestibular area, and there are semicircular canals and lab labyrinthine system. You know that inner ear structure, right? You don't know that. You have some idea. Okay, let me tell you more clearly. You know you have a head and neck, isn't it? This is your nose, and here is your ear. External ear, at least everyone knows, right? And here is proudly sitting. Who is sitting here? Pituitary, right? And what is this? Foramen magnum. Right? Now look here. This is external ear. External ear. Here it is. Yeah, what is it? Middle ear. And here is your cochlear system and vestibular labyrinthine system. This all system of canal this present within this bone this is petrous petrous bone right yes. petrous part of temporal bone right now look here there is a special foramen please tell me there is, what is this foramen called what is this area internally caustic meatus and this is connected from here up to inner ear is that right am I clear now, here was, okay, we'll keep a foramen magnum from where the artery came. What was this artery coming out? Vertebral. And what did it make? Basilar. And there's no fun in telling what was rapidly, rapido. What is this branch? Anterior? Spinal. And what is this branch? Posterior spinal. You are really good. And this is pica, right? And what is this? Ica and then from your long distant artery coming from here, going from here up to labyrinth of the ear. These are called labyrinthine arteries. Why I make such diagram and everything? Because somehow due to some idiopathic reason, students forget this branch. Right? So you have to remember it as good student, good doctor. That from here, this is an artery which is going long way. Right? And with the 7th and 8th nerve, which are going to internally caustic meatus, this labyrinthine artery also goes and goes to the inner ear and supplies over there. Is that clear? Yes. Claro. Now, so, actually I am learning Spanish, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what is here? Come here. Uh, there was, this was pica. In this branch, we can add here. What was this here? Aika. And what was this long distance business going? Labyrinthine. Right, I think you have learned a lot. Now let's relax. There are some small branches now from here. What are these? Yeah, pontine arteries. Am I clear? Good. Now you are going into basilar artery. You go up and you come in front of? What was this? Oculomotor comes out through this point. Is that right? <coughs> Oculomotor is coming out through this point. Basilar artery gives more branches just under the third cranial nerve exit. And that arches over, what is this? Superior? Yeah, superior surface of cerebellum, supplying a little bit midbrain and also to the Cerebellum. This is called superior cerebellar artery. Please don't confuse these two branches. 